Your Pontiac dealer brings you the All-American Game of the Week. This week, it's Michigan State versus Oregon State. Opening gun in a brand new football season. Ah, there's something very special about a football weekend. Even the weather seems crisp and exciting. Thousands of Midwest football fans turned out for this curtain raiser of 1950, and none had a pleasanter trip than those who drove to the game in a wonderful new Pontiac. Michigan State plays its home games on Macklin Field in East Lansing, just a few miles from the state capitol. This is one of the pleasant tree-shaded drives that have earned Michigan State its reputation as one of the most beautiful campuses in America. Here, our Pontiac pulls up in front of Williams Hall, one of the many beautiful dormitories on the campus. Before the game, let's look at some of the high spots of Michigan State. Almost in the geographical center of the campus is Beaumont Tower, a familiar landmark whose chimes dominate the campus. The Red Cedar River wanders right through this colorful campus. Not much as rivers go, but the bitter source of contention during the annual Frosh Soft Tug of War. And this is the symbolic Spartan, the statue which somehow typifies Michigan State athletes. In the background, you can see beautiful new Macklin Stadium, where the Spartans of Michigan State battle the Beavers of Oregon State in 1950's first All-American Game of the Week. And here's Bob Elson, who will bring you this week's Game of the Week on behalf of your Pontiac dealer. This is Bob Elson with a brief picture of pregame activities here at Macklin Field as witnessed by more than 32,000 fans attending this first All-American Game of the Week, brought to you by your local Pontiac dealer. And now the Spartans from Michigan State College. They hope today to produce the first opening game triumph in the four-year regime of popular head coach Clarence Biggie Munn. Before going to the field for game action, meet a few of the top athletes of today's game. Now let's meet some of the Spartans from Michigan State. Here is Big Don Coleman, a giant tackle. Here is a center, Big Dick Tamburo, number 52, and Captain Leroy Crane, a fine fullback. Other Michigan State stars to watch for are Bob Carey, an end, and Grandalius, a halfback. And now let's get to the field for the kickoff. The teams are lined up for the kickoff with Bob Carey doing the kicking for Michigan State. They're all set now. Both teams are ready. It's the start of the big game of the week. Later in the first period with the Spartans leading 7 to nothing, the Beavers have the ball on their own 42 with Sheffield taking the ball around right end and he's smeared for a three-yard loss. Now watch Grandalius, number 24 on this play, and a nice block thrown by Coleman as Grandalius cuts to the sidelines and goes all the way to the Beaver 30 before being tackled by Morrow. Here's a nice pass coming up. It's from Darrell to Carey down to the 22-yard line, and it's third and two. Grandalius takes the ball over center for a first down on the Beaver 18. Now it's Crane, the fullback again. He smashes over right tackle to the six for a first down. Here is a field goal attempt by Michigan State. They kick, and it's good. Michigan State leads 10 to nothing over Oregon State. Niblett, on an end-around play, takes the ball from Baker, but is stopped for no gain as the quarter ends with the score 10 to nothing in favor of Michigan State in the All-American Game of the Week brought to you by your local Pontiac dealer. Later in the second quarter in punt formation, it's Baker kicking. He kicks off the side of his foot, and the ball goes out of bounds on the Spartan 45-yard line. It's Darrow handing off to Grandalius, who goes through the middle for 15 yards on a nice run to the Beaver, 39, and a first down. Pisano, on a reverse from Darrow, picks up another five yards, and the Spartans are beginning to roll again, second and five on the 34. A few plays later, Crane, the fullback, goes through the middle for a first down on the Beaver eight-yard line. It's Grandalius running wide, and he smashes all the way to the three-yard line. And here is a touchdown pass coming up. It's thrown by Grandalius. 
And watch Cherry go up in the air for that ball. The score is Michigan State 16, Oregon State nothing. The drive went 52 yards from the Spartans 48. Carey will try for the point after touchdown. The kick is good and the score is 17 to nothing. And now here is Carey kicking off for Michigan State to Woodward on the Beaver 18. He's brought down on the 25 yard line. On this play, watch Bolt steal the ball from Bradley who caught Morrow's pass. The Spartans take over, and it's first and ten on the Oregon State 42. Here is Crane on a spinner, and he gains eight yards. It's Crane with the ball through the middle, and he picks up 18 yards to the 18-yard line where it's first and ten. Crane takes the ball and drives over right tackle for a touchdown. The score is the Spartans 23 and Oregon State nothing. There's the end of the first half with Michigan State leading Oregon State 24 to 7 in this first All-American game of the week. And now friends, a word from a man you all know with a word about Pontiac. And now back to the game as the third quarter gets underway. Michigan State is lined up for the kickoff and Carey boots it over the goal line. First and ten for the Beavers on the 20. Sheffold circles left end and fumbles. Bolt recovers the fumble for Michigan State. First and ten on the Beaver 34 yard line. Grandalius picks up ten yards to the 19 yard line where it's a first down. Grandalius crashes through from the 15 yard line for a touchdown. Carey's conversion is good, and the score is 31 to 7 in favor of Michigan State. Morrow trying to pass is spilled by King for a seven yard loss, and it's third and 10 on the 20. Doro passes to Carey, who is stopped on the half yard line. The play was good for 28 yards. Crane goes over right tackle and it's a touchdown. Carey's conversion is good and the score is 38 to 13. Watch this next play. It's a quick opening play with Carey carrying the ball and it's a beauty. He finds a big hole and he smashes all the way to the 29 yard line. And a youngster starts to tear down the goal posts. Now as they line up for another play, they never get it off. The game is over. Yes, that's it, friends, from Macklin Field, Michigan State over Oregon State, 38 to 13. For my money, the All-American standout in this game was Bob Carey, 215-pound end from Michigan State. Bob was truly a great offensive end in the game. He accounted for two of the Spartan scores, kicked the field goal, all points after touchdown, amassing a total of 17 points for the afternoon. Believe me, he's an All-American if I ever saw one. And here's another All-American performer, the trim, nimble, strikingly beautiful Pontiac convertible. As smart a car as ever shortened a mile and thrilled a driver. Next week, friends, our experts have chosen Ohio State versus Southern Methodist as the All-American Game of the Week. And so we'll see you in Columbus. Meanwhile, stop in and see your nearest Pontiac dealer for a look at an all-American car.